The singer's niece, also named Irma, shared a heartfelt tribute on Instagram over the weekend, with fans flocking to share their love for the late star. The public relations specialist shared, originally in Italian, unfortunately, we knew that sooner or later it would have happened, only one Irma would have remained. We joked, but, unfortunately that day has come. Here I'm Andy, from today my name is worth double, because by wearing it I will honor you two every day. Sharing a selfie with her late aunt, Irma was inundated with support and condolences from fans. The Naples-born star delighted fans across the globe with her sensational operatic voice, but gained most of her fame for her star-studded love life. Irma, most notably, was the reported mistress and widow of the former king of Egypt, Farouk I, often referred to as the last king of Egypt. The former king had been living in exile in Naples in the early 1950s when he first met Irma who was 15 years his junior and had recently been crowned Miss Naples. However, the singer was engaged at the time and her fiancé, Enzo Ancarola, reportedly challenged the king to a duel, offering either pistols or swords as the weapon of choice according to the Telegraph. Although it is unclear if the duel ever took place, Irma and Farouk struck up a long-term relationship. The former king also became one of Irma's first supporters in her singing career, booking out an exclusive Naples club to host her recital with more than 300 guests in attendance. Unfortunately, just minutes into this first performance the lights in the artists' club went out, inciting mass panic from the audience while Irma continued to belt out an aria and Farouk reportedly nudging his friends to share how brilliant her voice was. It is unclear if Farouk and Irma ever married as in a 1954 interview seen by The Telegraph, the singer declared marriage to be the tomb of love and said she would prefer not to be wed. Over 50 years later in a 2005 interview, Irma claimed she had married Farouk in a private Islamic ceremony. Farouk died at the age of 45 in 1965 in Rome, with Irma appearing alongside his former wife, Queen Farida, at his funeral. The former king's death sparked a relentless motivation in Irma as her singing career catapulted throughout the later half of the 1960s. The opera singer began performing at venues and in shows across Italy, from Milan to Florence, and in 1971 was featured in Opera magazine for her role of Carmela in Cavalleria Rusticana. Irma's later career also included some film appearances, starring alongside Elizabeth Taylor in 1998's Young Toscanini. from